everybody, welcome back to another video of Paradox Zero Three Nine Eight, and in this video we are going to be playing Roblox Car Crushers 2. They just came out with Update 31, and this is the Update 31 uh, full update guide. Now, just a quick thing here, um, if my audio sounds a little bit different, a little bit more echoey than it normally does, uh, that's because I'm recording in a different room than I'm normally recording in, but that's why. So, anyways, I guess let's just go ahead and get right into the uh, video then. Starting off with the four new vehicles that they have added. Now, a quick thing while I'm scrolling to the first vehicle, I actually quite like the uh, I quite like the thumbnail for uh, update 31. I'll go ahead and put it up on screen right now. But I actually kind of think it <laughs> it looks pretty cool compared to all the up other um, thumbnails that they have um, made for their updates. All right, first off, the Aerial Nomad. Uh, not sure exactly what this thing is meant to be, but it, uh, this is kind of different than other vehicles that I have, uh, seen in Car Crushers 2. Ooh. That's kind of cool. Huh. Kind of, huh. Okay, it, well, so it looks like, like, the suspension is kind of different. Well, maybe, maybe not, but you see these, these front wheel cover things actually move the wheels it's actually pretty fast here it looks like too it's actually squeaking the tires a little bit there huh but um maybe it's just because it's this vehicle and it's you know slightly different than other vehicles but when i actually go like when i press the gas here like it actually tilts back a little bit and t tilts forward a little bit when i brake I, I it does that with other vehicles but not this much, I don't think. But this is a pretty cool little thing. Kinda has some body roll there, too. Six gears, but only gets up to, let's see. A hundred and... hundred and twenty-one. With six gears. Well, that's... For, for what this thing's, I'm pretty sure that this thing is meant to be like one of those, like off-road kind of like, uh, one of those like off-road little vehicles. Kind of like a four-wheeler, but like with a frame and everything. I guess, uh, if you're going for realism here, then that's a bit fast for one of those things, but this is Car Crushers 2. <laughs> so, not saying Car Crushers 2 isn't realistic, I'm just saying it is a video game. Even as realistic as it is, it's still a video game, but... Anyways, yeah, this thing's kind of cool, I guess. Whatever. <laughs> Alright, next up. Ooh, the London Double Decker Bus here. Well, this is... This is interesting. I mean, it's not too... Oh, I accidentally pressed E rather than W there. This isn't too different from the other things that... Uh, other cars that there are in Car Crushers 2, but... It's kind of odd. <laughs> it's kind of, kind of not the greatest on handling here. The uh, whole thing is kind of tipsy and let's see. I think it was more of a lower speed. Like the back end is kind of like swinging out there. Yeah, hold on. So let's see. Huh. <laughs> this thing's kind of fun to drive just because of how terrible it is to drive. <laughs> well, there's the London bus for you. It's not very fast either. <laughs> well, I'm not quite sure why they added this, but, uh, well, it's in the game now. If you want to, <laughs> if you want to drive this in Car Crushers 2, then, uh, again, well, not again, but there will be a link in the description to Car Crushers 2 if you want to play it. But, uh, yeah, the London bus. <laughs> There you go. Next up. Ooh, the WVD X15 Super. I have seen this in a different game. Uh, I forgot what Project Track Day, that's what it's called. I've played a different game called Project Track Day, and that's where I've seen this. I mean, for, for a supercar, it's not that fast or good on handling. I mean, it's fine, but it's, it doesn't steer very well. Then again, I'm going decently fast here, but 
Yeah, again, for a supercar, this is not... I mean, this is not very... I mean, it's fast, but it's not as fast as a supercar should be, I don't think. At least compared to some other supercars in the game. Okay, 186. That's a decent speed. But even... Even if there's a... Uh, <laughs> excuse me there. If I can just correctly use grammar correctly here um e even if it's you know really good on steering really good uh what's the word i'm looking for um what is it called handling it even if it's like really good handling then the faster you go you're still gonna lose some turning ability there but uh and it kind of has small wheels too especially compared to some other vehicles in the game kind of small wheels and no offense to um, the Car Crushers 2 uh, modelers because they do an amazing job modeling vehicles uh, in Car Crushers 2. But this is not the best of what I've seen in Car Crushers 2 modeling. It's just kind of kind of boxy and just not as good quality as they've um, been doing with their models. So, but still pretty good though. But anyways, that's the WVD X15 Super. That's that for you, folks. And fourth and finally, last but not least, the Piste de Resistance, my favorite vehicle that they've added in, in Update 31, the Dragster. <laughs> now this is actually the first time I've seen this and driven this in game. So, let's see, is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, this is my new favorite car. <laughs> okay, maybe not. But, uh, oh, man. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> this is... This is... <laughs> I really like this. This thing does not... Hold on a second. I, I, I'm overwhelmed here. This is... This is cool, but... I mean, there's some problems with let me actually take it to the runway. Okay, now that I'm at the runway, you can see that turning with it at like a slow speed of like 10 miles an hour and below, or you know, 20 and below or so, you know, it's it's average on steering. I mean, for especially for as long of a vehicle as this dragster is, you know, it, it turns. That's about all I can say. It turns. Uh, yeah, it turns, folks. <laughs> what else did you want? Anyways, so, you see, the, th the thing about this, is, I mean, it's a dragster, and it's, again, especially if you're going for realism, you know, it, uh, what, as you can see, it's pretty fast here, and top speed is about, let's see, what was it here, about 200, 270 or so? No, 310, but you can see, when I'm going fast, even if it's just over, over 30 or so, it does not turn that it, well, basically does not turn at all. And then when I go to stop, you cannot turn at all, and it just basically skids here. So, I mean, I guess, again, if, if you're really going for realism, that is kind of what, I mean, dragsters are not really meant to turn that well, especially not when you're going fast. They're meant to go fast, you know, accelerate very fast, and go really fast in a straight line. That's about it. You know, it's not meant to steer, and realism what you're going for then you know hey here you go but not very good on handling so but i like it this is this is cool though they did a great job with this model especially the engine model look at that what's it say exd industries <laughs> yeah, but really cool model and it even uh, the exhaust there even uh, backfires a little bit there let me slow down so, yeah, pretty cool. I like this. I like this a lot. I will be, will be driving this a lot in Car Crushers, but not the best handling vehicle, especially not when it comes to... Okay, next up on the updates for Update 31, or the changes for Update 31, I should say. Here we are. Here is the Chevy Impala. This doesn't really have anything to do with Update 31 at all, but I'm just going to use this as an example. So, here's the Chevy Impala. This is probably my most driven car 
in Car Crushers 2. I'm not sure why. I just, I like the style of it. I like driving it around. It's not the fastest thing, but, you know, it's fast enough and it steers well. And this is just my most driven car in Car Crushers 2. This is probably, this is my first pick when I go to pick a car to drive in Car Crushers 2. And I just want to have fun to drive around. But, using this car as an example, the next thing that they've added with Update 31 is a spoiler customization thing in customization customization thing excuse me <laughs> uh, a spoiler customization tab in the customization um whatever you call it the customization window here so let's see actually let me get rid of my rocket booster where is it add-ons rocket booster so let me get rid of my rocket booster there okay so you can see there's like a little minor spoiler, then a, a little bit, oh, well, it looks like a little notch down the middle, and there's that one. I guess they don't have names. And then there's that spoiler, and then there's that one. And then that one kind of looks like a Supra, a Toyota Supra, like a Mark IV Supra spoiler. Kind of cool. Uh, where was I? Oh, uh, and then there's that, and then that. And then there's that one and that more of like a NASCAR kind of spoiler and then there's that one man there's a lot of spoilers here so just basically you know go through the spoilers and you know whichever one you like the best you know there's a lot of options I like that there's smaller spoilers bigger spoilers different styles of spoilers whatever kind of spoiler you want basically all right the final spoiler way more of a nascar spoiler there that's kind of kind of cool kind of too much for me though i don't know what i and then there's of course an uh oh wait what's that one? Oh, so that's just no spoiler there and oh, by the way, here's a little bug in case uh, developers of Car Crusher 2 is watching this. If you pick something here and then you just go back to, you know, nothing here, it doesn't really work at all. But anyways, I don't know. For this car, my favorite pick for this car, I don't know. It's going to take me a second to go through here and look at this, so hold on. That kind of looks cool. You know, it, it like the um, yeah. I think I'll I think I'll get that. And can I change the? Oh, wait a minute. What? Oh, it goes that button. I guess you can make the regular color and the color of the car. Okay. Anyway, so yeah. Let's see. What should I have the spoiler color as? Maybe white. Okay, so this is the spoiler that I have chosen. I think it looks good in white, too. Yeah. Ooh. It's actually... Huh. Interesting. Why do my wheels look smaller here now, too? Hmm. Okay, well, along with the spoiler uh, 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 customization here, there has been... An assigned unique handling stat to each vehicle, which can be upgraded with spoilers. So, you see here, handling, right there, 13.3. Uh, that's what it's at with the spoiler, plus 3.74. So, it's normally at about 9 or so. And it actually handles a lot different than it normally does. So, let me just take the spoiler off here. So you can see that it's just kind of a lot more, I guess, slippery and it's not, just not as, I kind of like it without the spoiler. Maybe that's just because I'm used to it, but I kind of like it without the spoiler. I don't know. But, but I can, maybe you can't tell from watching the video, but I can tell from just driving it in game. It's a lot different with the spoiler on compared to without it. And I'm not sure if they changed anything, but for some reason, these wheels look smaller than I remember them being. 
I own this car at least. They let these wheels seem smaller than they were. Hm. Well, anyways, but I can tell with the spoiler on now. Oh, wait, it's the wrong color. But I can tell that there is definitely a handling difference with the spoiler on compared to spoiler off. So, you can choose the spoiler that you like the best and it looks cooler and you also have better handling. So, next up, your character will now fly slash ragdoll out of the car if your car breaks in a hard crash. So let me just... Man, this handling though. <laughs> so let me just go ahead and damage my car here a little bit. Actually, I can just use my crowbar. Okay. So damage my car a little bit here. Now, normally, let's just say I'm going really fast and like hit a tree or something. Normally my character will just like basically jump out of the car kind of like that. Now, what happens instead is I ragdoll if I can demonstrate it here. Let's try hitting this tree. Okay, so you can see, you couldn't really see it too well there, but my character ragdolled rather than just like jumped out. So, I guess another, another 10 points for realism there. And again with ragdoll, you also now ragdoll if you fall from a great distance or get hit by a car in derby arenas so if you get hit by a car uh, it also ragdolls you as well again another 10 points for realism I actually find that pretty cool they have added a new treasure hunt comp competition uh, again i'm not sure maybe it's just because i play on private servers now because i have a private server uh, but there's the, these competition things that they added uh, in Update 30. Last update, you can watch my uh, Update 30 video if you want to. Uh, but anyways, uh, I'm not quite sure what competitions are. I'm pretty sure it's just a thing with um, regular servers, not private servers. But I don't know. But they've added a new um, treasure hunt competition. Next up, private server owners now have an admin panel. So you can see in the top left corner, because I'm, I'm a private, in a private server, and I'm the private server owner, I have an admin panel. Now you can co toggle competitions on and off, so I guess competitions are uh, in um, private servers now. Uh, maybe they weren't before, I don't know. You can set server gravity. Uh, I can send a server message slash shout, and then my message right here. Uh, and I can fill the core uh, instantly, and if, if I do that, no reward is given. You actually have to wait for it to fill up and then set it off normally in order to get uh, rewards. But I can fill core right now if I wanted to. I can give players, if there are other players uh, in the game, I can give them admin by clicking here and then hitting give admin. And I can remove people's admin uh, by clicking here, selecting their name, and then hitting revoke admin. I can change the walk speed and studs per second. Mine is here at 32 studs per second. And the weirdest thing, you can toggle fly, which you can press B. I guess you can yeah, do it just regularly here as well. This seems weird for <laughs> Car Crushers 2. It feels like I'm in like an admin type game or like I'm hacking. I wonder, can you go through things? Okay, you can't go through things. Ooh, this is kind of a cool. Why am I going forward still? Huh, wait, what? V. Oh, you can also press V to get a view of your vehicle. Maybe that was there before. Huh, I, I didn't even notice, notice that. I, I think that was there before, but this is just kind of weird. Not sure why they added this, but you can fly now if you want to. Oh, and you can see I just ragdolled there too. Actually, let me try that again. So, I press B, I fly up, and then I turn fly off. <laughs> My character now ragdolls. That's kind of cool. Oh, and it makes a bone cracking noise. Another 13 points for realism that time. Okay, you, next up, you can now create private derby servers using a private server. I did not, okay. That, 10 out of 10. 10 out of, of 20 out of 10, that one is. 
I that is great. There's always been this problem where you go to where I go to join derby arenas with my friends and we just all can't get in the same server and uh, we can't get in the same type of server, you know, um, uh, beginner experience and pro. So 10 out of 10, 20 out of 10 for this one. This is great, great feature. Thank you, thank you, Panwells or any other developers that came up with this idea. Thank you. Many supercars and sports cars now have notice noticeably better steering at high speeds. So let me test this with the Koenigsegg, um, what's it called? The Koenigsegg Jesco, Jesco. All right, let's see. Let's go to row two. Okay, so immediately I can't notice uh, a difference at all. I, huh. Why do I not have a plow in the front? Weird. Anyways. Oh, wow. Okay. So let's go ahead and speed up here. Okay. So, this is slight... I can't really know that. I can, I can tell a slight difference, but it's not like a major thing compared to before. But I can definitely notice a difference. <laughs> if only they could make braking better. <laughs> I'm kidding. There's already a uh, feature for that. They have adjusted the acceleration and top speed upgrade bonuses for some supercars. Some with more handling have a bit less acceleration uh, slash speed. Uh, next, they have... Sorry, I just got an email there. Uh, they have reset the dirt track leaderboard due to the rebalancing of the cars. Not sure exactly what that means, but... Uh, if you know what that means, then take that knowledge as you will. <laughs> and last but not least, if you invite a friend to teleport to Derby Arenas, you can now choose which type of server to teleport to, beginner, experienced, and pro. Again, another problem that I kept having every single time I went to uh, join a Derby Arena server with uh, either my friends. So thank you again, thank you. Whoever suggested that and whoever actually decided to add that, probably Panwells, because I think he's the head moderator of Car Crushers 2. Um, thank you. 20, 30, you know, 30 million out of 10 on that one. Great thing to add. Thank you. Bug fixes are some of the best things that you can add in a game, at least in my opinion. So, that is the Update 31 full update guide. Uh, tell me in the comment section down below uh, if you think that this that update 31 was a good update tell me what you think uh, they should add in update 32 or any future updates tell me what you didn't like with update 31 and just anything you want to comment in the comment section down below but uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed uh, and if you haven't already please like subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss another video when I upload one and as always, have a great day, everybody. I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.